I have a manufactured home with a Medallion Products Miller AC unit that is running but no cool air what can I do short of calling a technician to find out what is wrong. All work to be done by licensed professional. We keep going until you have the information you need, I come and go. This is step 1. Hello, welcome to Just Answer. Let's check a few things first. Okay. Look at the outside unit, locate the two tubes that attach it and go inside the house. Tell me if the insulated one has ice or frost on it. Done. Neither have ice. Is the unit running? Yes. In that case then it's only the fan running and not the compressor dot or both the fan and compressor are running but the system is out of refrigerant or the compressor has failed. I guess the only way to know for sure is to call a repairman. Remove the side panel so you can access the compressor compartment and feel the compressor and tell me it's hot on top and if you can feel it running. Is the compressor in the unit outside? Yes. It's big, black and is rounded, weights about 75 pounds. Tell me about how old the unit is. Four years old. There is no side panel I can remove only the fan on top. If it's running, and you can feel it running, and it's hot comma dot chances are in 80% range there is a refrigerant leak and it's out of gas, needs the leak repaired, and refrigerant replaced. Wait in that case. Wait for what? There should be a small panel near where where the electrical and refrigerant lines attach to the unit. You can remove that and reach in to feel the top of the compressor. Okay, I will look. There are no time limits here, you can take your time. If the compressor is not running, but is hot, it may need a new run capacitor. $50 part, easy to replace. Slash fo1.justanswer.com slash ref slash https underscore encrypted tbn0.google.com slash images percent 253 fq percent 253 dtbn percent 253 on 9 gcrqxdzl 23 uhcvc 3 krimi 3090 uo 9xdl underscore krmb 7bkz 0fdczjq. That should be a picture of typical run capacitor. There are different variations. It did not seem to be overly hot but I could not really tell if it was running. The web page you wrote previously did not get me any results in Google. Thanks. Full size image. A bad run capacity can look okay, or be swollen or have an oil leak. If it's swollen or has an oil leak it's bad for sure. If not there are several ways to check it. Caution it holds a 440 volt charge. At this point chances are in the 80% range it has a bad run capacitor. If the compressor is pretty warm but not hot and you and can't tell if it's running or not, it has likely gone off on its internal high temperature safety cutoff and will not try to run again until it cools off. In those cases it is either a bad compressor, or a bad run capacitor. Failed run capacitors are common. And in the 10% range the compressor has burned out. And 10% it's out of refrigerant, got hot and went off on its internal overload. Many people will simply try changing the capacitor. Let me know what you are capable of I can coach you from there. Okay, the unit should be under warranty. I have to call to verify. If not, that will be what I will try first. I work in electronics for the last 30 plus years, so I can change the capacitor. I just need to buy one and make sure I do not void the warranty. Where do they sell the capacitors? 
Granger Industrial Supply can match it up for microfarad and voltage ranges. You can buy one online a bit cheaper. $40 or $50. How many of the round plastic cups does yours have on it? I will look. If it's in warranty most likely only the compressor is covered, the rest, including the capacitor is covered for 90 days to a year as the general rule. The compressor would be covered parts only, labor extra dot unless you paid for a full coverage extended warranty. Where is the capacitor located? Follow all three wires attached to the compressor, one will go directly to the capacitor. The other two will go to the compressor as a rule dot it depends on the capacitor. Some capacitors have three cups on them. Some only two cups. I need to know which. The capacitor is often mounted on the fire wall next to the compressor. Okay. It has three cups with red wire going to the compressor and blue wire to the run capacitor. Thanks. XXXXXXXXXXX a dual capacitor, it runs the fan and the compressor. The center post is common. The other two should be marked fan and compressor. Some are not marked, but you tell by where the wires go. That is correct one of the wires goes to the fan. Make a very detailed drawing of the wiring at the capacitor. Mark all the wires as well, be sure you turn off the power, then use a 10 ohm resistor to discharge the capacitor between common and each outer terminal. Some people just short it with a screwdriver. They have been known to explode. Wear eye protection and don't face the capacitor when doing that. Granger Industrial Supply can match it. So can Appliance Parts Distributors Incorporated. Let me know if you need help getting a source. No problem. If you have a multimeter with a microfarad setting, UF, you can check the capacitance between common and the fan and the compressor cups. If not you can discharge the capacitor and use the ohm setting dot if it's good you will get a surge ohm reading then the read will drop back to zero dot that test is about 80% reliable, not 100% reliable. I will have to look at my multimeter. We can stay with this until we get it figured out. Just post and I will be notified. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.